Hello, in this session, I am going to introduce you with the Intel VTune Profiler. It is a performance analysis tool and it will help you to understand and analyze the choice of your algorithm. The Intel VTune Profiler is very useful and it will help you to determine or to locate the most time consuming functions in your application or on the whole system. It will help you understand which functions are taking much more time, which functions are really wasting time, which functions are consuming more time and it is called as hot functions technically. The sections of the code that do not effectively utilize the available processor time can also be understood clearly through the Intel VTune Profiler. And importantly, the best sections of the code to optimize for the sequential performance and for threaded performance can also be understood. The synchronization of the objects that affect the application performance can be analyzed and whether, where and why your application spend time is very important to be understood and this tool will give you insights on that. Whether your application is CPU or GPU bound, how effectively it offloads the code to GPU, all this can be even analyzed. The thread activity and the thread transitions can be clearly visualized. The performance impact of different methods, different number of threads, different algorithms, all these can be clearly analyzed and understood with the Intel VTune Profiler. The hardware related issues in your code such as the data sharing, the cache miss, the branch misinterpretation, all these can be clearly understood and you will get an insight of what's going right and what's going wrong. And importantly, this is very easy to install. And well, how do I install this VTune Profiler? You can download and install the Intel VTune Profiler on your system to gather the performance data either on your native system or on remote systems. This is possible. You can install the application on your Linux machine or Windows machine or Mac OS, but you need to make sure that you install things right. I am going to tell you how exactly you can carry on with the installation process while also I will tell you how do we start with the simple analysis for some sample code and you will be able to understand what are the available options that one carries with the Intel VTune Profiler. You can download the VTune Profiler as a standalone version or as a part of Intel One API based toolkit and I am going to explain you all this process very clearly but one thing is to be understood there are some system requirements the prerequisites I could call it as to be available for you to install the Intel VTune Profiler. You need to have at least 8 GB of RAM and that's recommended. 1.6 GB of free hard disk space is required. These two are the recommendations that we generally have towards installing the Intel VTune Profiler. I'm going to walk you through the entire process from the moment we download the installer and we will go up to analysis of one particular application and we will understand what are the options available there. And I will also give you the link of the user guide that is available online and it's openly accessible for everybody and you will get a lot of information about the Intel VTune Profiler. You can go with command line option, you can go with GUI option, whichever you like you can go ahead with it and I'm going to explore with GUI and it will be very easy for you to understand as well. Let's go into the download process first and then we will install, then we will analyze and this tool will definitely mesmerize you. We are going to install the Intel VTune Profiler here and it is a very easy process and a smooth process. We can install it as a standalone version and it is going to be very easy for you to use it. The link is highlighted there. You can download the installables from there and you need to select the operating system which you want to use. I am using Windows so I need to select the installer type as well. You can go ahead with online or offline. You can read through the materials that they have given, the pointers that they have given and I am going to click download. It is a customizable installation as well which I will show you. Once the exe file, I mean the installer is downloaded, you can click double click that and it will start the installation process. It is very smooth, easy, you can sit back and relax for a few minutes, it will be installed. Automatically the system requirements will be checked and in case of deficits, it will let you know what has to be installed and you can carry on with that installation as well. So now the one API is launched and Intel VTune Profiler is getting into it and you can see that what are all the things which we are installing right now. We are installing Intel VTune Profiler and we are going to accept the terms and conditions and it is going to get integrated with the Visual Studio. I am giving consent for the data collection, it is up to you. And now there may be a reboot requirement at the end of it, click install and it will go on. It will take a little amount of time like 
10 to 15 minutes it may take for you to complete the installation. It is about 680, 690 MB file, so it may take a little bit of time for the installation. And you can sit back and relax. Automatically, the checks will happen. Automatically, it will see if things are all installed fine. So please do not interrupt the process. It will keep going and you will get the VTune profiler installed for you in a while. So you can wait for the installation and once done, you will be able to open the VTN profiler as an application. You can see that right in front of you, we have got it installed and I am clicking the finish button. The moment you click it, you will be also provided with the link to the guide, the user guide, which I'm scrolling through right now. I strongly recommend you to read it through. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the VTN profiler, which has been installed in my machine. And we will start with analyzing and understanding how it is going to be useful for us to get understanding about what our code is, what kind of improvements can be done all those things will be discussed a little later now it is launched you can see that the intel vtune profiler gets launched and this is the welcome page for you it's a very neatly done ui for you the gui the gui is very easy to use and you can see that you've got guidelines available you can create your project and start your profiling there you've got recent projects listed there the recent results listed here and we have got the help tour documentation cookbook link for everything is available for you and you have also featured contents highlighted there you can see all those and you can try it out the moment you click configure analysis you will be able to get into the launch application and where we have kept the matrix.exe regular matrix file that we are going to use and we are going to analyze that file now when you click this button the run button it runs you can see that it is running in the background and you are collecting results here and you can see the status as collecting data this data can be analyzed and you'll be able to understand the performance related parameters which the VTune profiler gives you it may take a while for the analysis so sit back and relax you will get the results in a couple of minutes and once it is done you will get in into the complete details the plethora of information about your application can be really analyzed so we have to wait until we get the results it may take a while and i request you to wait maybe first couple of times you may find it a little difficult to understand the flow but after that it will be really easy for you to get the flow understood and also you can understand the complete content that the vtune profiler is going to provide you all these data whatever i am talking about whatever inputs i am giving all these are available in the user guide the link can be provided to you as well so i request you to go through the user guide as well because it is going to help you in understanding what kind of analysis can be done is it algorithm related micro architecture related parallelism related what is it it can all be understood very clearly and i request you to strongly go through the user guide that's one very important thing now you can see that the data collection is completed successfully finalizing results is coming in front of you we are going to get the result right in front of you in next couple of seconds. So once it is done, you will be able to get the summary. You will get the complete summary out here. You are getting it in front of you, the elapsed time, the effective CPU utilization, all these data you are getting. You can see that 97.969 uh, seconds is the elapsed time. Effective CPU utilization is 64.5. You've got a histogram which is going to help you out in understanding things in a much easier way. The total thread count, the wait time with poor CPU utilization, all these details including much more detailed information about the time factors and the metrics are presented to you. Uh, you can see that the collection in the platform info is also presented to you which has details about the platform, the operating system, all those things. So we are going to go through the next level where you can see that the bottom of detail is presented where we have seen something right in the previous discussion. I have explained each of this, the grouping. You can group the data with uh, op available options over there. You can filter the data uh, by process, by module. You can also select a grouping level for the timeline band you can drag and drop to select a range on the timeline area you can do that as well you can restart the help tour if you are using it for the first time the complete information whatever i have told you will come again you can see that the caller to kali information the caller to kali details are analyzed and presented here very clearly and you can see that the total time the cpu time is presented in front of you and in the right hand side we have got the caller and kali followed by that you've got complete information you can see the weight count, total, self, function, source file, all these details are this helps you in analyzing in depth. So now the callers is available there. You get all these details for the callers and followed by that you have callee uh, below that. So you can understand the caller to callee data, uh, how the function call has happened, all those things can be very clearly understood using this. The, the parameters and the metrics can be understood pretty clearly is what I'm trying to convey. Now we are going to the top down tree where you've got grouping option available for you. You can go ahead at the call stack option. 
uh, I'm going to click that right now. This is call stack or source function stack. Both options are available. So you can select whatever you want and you can get that. And you can see that the complete analysis is presented to you. And for the thread, you can add CPU sample, the transitions, everything can be included or excluded based on your uh, requirement. And try this out. Once you try this out, you'll be able to understand. And so all these are very simple and easy to understand. Try it out. And in case you have questions, I'll be able to answer that. Thank you.